So uh, I will be doing a sunflower design today and I hope that you are excited to see that. It's a quite simple one but it's perfect for this late summer early autumn so I think it's going to be really good. Hope you can hear me okay. Hey Tasso. So uh, the reason why I'm doing a live today and not on Monday is because I'm working really late on Monday. So it's a Friday live this time. So yeah, I think that we're going to get started. I just prepared a tip with uh, some beige because that's going to be our... Let's get this out of the way. Okay, on the floor, that's fine. Hello, hello. So I just did this beige, let's move these. Beige as a base color. And we're just gonna get started, I think. So I put up some color on my little, oh, the brushes are in the way, on my little crystal plate. So when I do things like this that has like different shades of orange and yellow in it, I just basically put up many, many blobs because I never know what shade I want to have. Uh, so I just put up random ones. I actually forgot a color. I forgot the dark orange one. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start by doing the black middle, I think, because I think that's the easiest, just so you know where you're going to have the center of the flower. So we're going to start with the black, what do you call it? Middle, middle of the flower. I'm just gonna put up some dark orange because I was too quick and I forgot about it. So I'm just gonna pour some on the little plate here. Oops, that was too much. Okay. Hope that everyone is having a lovely Friday. I just got home from work. been a really quiet day at the gym today so I basically just cleaned machines today okay so I think we're gonna do a similar one to this one where we're gonna do the other side I think and like usual my, my thumb is probably gonna be in the way so I'm saying sorry from the beginning but I'm gonna try to keep it uh, out of the way so just start by doing somewhat of a circle, ha half circle. And like usual, I'm really shaky. I feel like I'm always shaky in the beginning of the live. Like my hands are shaking. But hey, we do what we can. So what are you guys doing tonight except sitting here watching me? doing some flowers. Are you doing anything fun today? I know that there was a concert here in Gothenburg today, but I don't, don't remember who it was. But I know that many, many people here in Gothenburg are going to that concert tonight. Do we want it bigger? Yeah, a little bit bigger. And it doesn't really have to be perfect because uh, we're going to do the petals and then we're going to do the little tiny black strokes that goes out into the petals. So this half circle doesn't really need to be perfect. Somewhat perfect, but not totally.
something like this. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Put that into the light. Hey, Monica. Is everybody gonna eat tacos today? I feel like that's a really Friday Swedish tradition to eat, eat the Swedish tacos. Meanwhile, that's in the light. I'm gonna do some mixing. So, I wanna have one of the yellows, just the regular yellow that it is, but this one, I'm gonna mix and do it lighter, I think. And I have kind of a neon, kind of neon yellow. It's not really neon, but I put it down here just to add in something, something a little bit lighter. That's not white because then it's going to get really, I feel like yellow can get really dull when you add too much white. So I'd rather just add a bit more light yellow instead. And this is also to get this a bit more pigmented because my yellows aren't really that pigmented for some reason, which is really unfortunate, but you know. And then I'm gonna take some orange. This orange is like a burnt kind of orange. It's not really orange orange, which is really good for a design like this because the, the darker shading on the petal is like it's not supposed to be like orange it's supposed to be a kind of a brown so this one is really good for that so where is everyone from i know that the some of the content crew are in here so i know they are in sweden but where is everyone else from it's always fun to see where you guys are from. Okay, I think we're going to start with this one. So the first shade that I'm going to be using is this light, light yellow mix. And I'm going to wipe off the, um, the sticker layer of the black paint. Lisa is in Skåne. How's the weather done in Skåne? It has been like here in Gothenburg, it's been on the verge of raining for like four days. And it's like the air is thick. Like you can feel how thick the air is. So I really, really hope it's gonna rain just so it gets a bit better. Okay. So, starting on the petals, I just do them anywhere, everywhere. Doesn't really matter. Just put some of them somewhere, someplace. My arm sticking to the table, that, that's how hot it is in my apartment. Why am I using this brush? I'm asking myself that even though I was the one that picked it up, but... Edge petal. And then maybe one here. It's been super warm, it rained yesterday morning, but it didn't help, but today it's finally cooled down. It's been drizzling all day. Oh, that's so nice. I wish, I wish. The weather here is 
really shitty right now when it's like this. And I always make the, the petals in really different shapes because it's not supposed to be perfect because it's a flower. So just do them however you like. We're gonna do some other petals on top of it so it doesn't really matter. And then we'll make one here. Hey, Mimi. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. It's my fridge. It's really loud. <laughs> sorry. Mm, maybe we should do this one a bit bigger, actually. Like that. Then we can make two that's really close together, actually. Like I did on the other one. I really need to change brush. Ugh. This uh, isn't really that good for painting lines like this. I usually use it to like fill in. fill in big areas, but I don't really paint with it. And now I know why. It's mostly just in the way for me. And yes, it's going to look kind of ugly until we get to the details, so don't really worry about it. Because this is just the base layer. We're going to do some more stuff on top of it. And then we can do an edge petal right here. Okay. I think we're going to start here. Actually, I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. Something like this. We're going to start here. So let's put that in the lamp. I have so much stuff around me. I don't even know why I took out everything that I don't actually need for the live today. But here we are. I feel like every time I do the live, I always pick out so much stuff from the drawers that I don't really need for some reason. I don't know why I do it. I always feel like, oh, I'm going to realize that I will need this and then I don't use it. And I actually got a question uh, in my DMs from the last live. Uh, when I do, because I did uh, the lava lamp about the curing and when I do layered stuff like a layered design I always fully cure just in case so the color doesn't like crumble so I always uh, fully cure it just to be safe I always oh <laughs> I always over prepare for a live yay it's not just me Somebody does the same as I do. Yay! 
glad I'm not alone on that one. Okay, so now I'm picking up the middle orange that I uh, mixed and I'm just going to do some petals in between just to fill up some space. Just so it looks a bit more filled in. Hey Liga! So fun to see that you guys want to spend your Friday evenings with me. Thank you. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing the middle petals in the orange instead of more petals in yellow is just so I can like see which one like to to which layer of the flower the petals are supposed to be. You're so good. I love your nails. Oh, thank you. You're very sweet. My nails aren't actually that good right now because I've had them for four and a half weeks, which is way too long. So I feel like it's it's on the edge of like being too long, they're gonna lift. But thank you, you're very sweet. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a thin petal. I think, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. No, looked weird, let's make it bigger. I didn't like this one. Let's make it rounded. Maybe that helps. That's also the thing with like sunflowers because the flower petals never look perfect. Which is really good in a design because then you don't have to worry that it doesn't look perfect, which is really nice. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. And then let's make a big one here. It would be so difficult to paint, paint in such long nails. I can't even imagine myself doing this. I guess it's, but it. I feel like that's the thing with everything because people always ask me that, like, how do you do everything with your nails? You, you, it, like, it's a learning curve. <laughs> like, I've had long nails for four years, like, without taking, well, I've changed and, like, taken them away and, like, formed them out, but, um... It's a learning curve. You learn by doing. I'm so used to having my nails, so I can't even imagine myself being without them. But it's also not for everyone, and that's totally understandable. Just love them. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, should we do one more? Yeah. make this one really like wide or maybe I should fix that one yeah let's do that and also a thing that I love about this design is that I don't really have to think about what I'm doing like I don't really have a pattern that I go by I just do it and then just see what happens which is really nice I love those kind of designs because like I said it's not supposed to be perfect it's a flower I had an idea for for this one. Let's make it wide here. Because why not? I just knocked my phone with my chin. <laughs> okay. 
let's start here. So that this is our base. And then we're going to add some shading and some highlights. But let's cure that. I want to follow you for an entire day just to see how you do things with your nails because I just find it fascinating. <laughs> Please come come to Gothenburg. You can follow me for the entire day. I'm the kind of person who would break a nail in five minutes if I tried to go that long. I'm just too clumsy. <laughs> but like I said, it's a learning curve. Like if you would do long nails and then just have them for a while, you would learn how to do things with them. Like I've had my nails for so long. I'm so used to them being like this. They're, they're like an extension of my finger, basically. So it's, a, it's you, you learn by doing. That's what I'm saying. But yes, please come and follow me. It would be so fun just going around like a tail on me just to see. You should see me when I open machines. That that's a, that's an interesting scenario to watch. I'm guessing uh, because I do it, but it it probably looks kind of funny. <laughs> but please come to Gothenburg. We we'll we'll meet up. Okay, so. This is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna cleanse this. No, I'm not actually, because I'm gonna blend stuff on top of it. Okay. You see what I mean? I, I just get, like, I do stuff without thinking. Like, should I cleanse? No, I'm gonna blend the colors into it. Like, I, I get ideas throughout making the design. I don't have anything planned. Okay, I'm gonna add some lighter yellow on the orange petals. So I want this part to be the darkest. So I'm going to add some yellow up here. And what you could do, because now I'm just going to take the colors back and forth and then basic, basically just blend them. But what you could do is that you could take take some uh, top coat and mix in with the color to get like a really light shade, uh, just so you can shade easier with it. I just don't, <laughs> but if you want to, it would be easier. And I am gonna put some white in the top here, so I don't really drag it all the way to the top because in just a second I'm going to take some white. Okay, so having the yellow kind of to the middle, I'm going to take some more orange and then just blend it back. Just so we get like a bit more not ombre, but kind of. Kind of ombre? Almost ombre. We'll see. And I'm just wiping some of the color off onto some paper I have next to me. Just so I don't have too much color on the brush. And I really try to not be too perfectionist with this one. If you follow me, you know that I'm the worst perfectionist ever because I can't do anything without it being perfect. But I really try to not be like that. Um, and this is the perfect design for me to, to train and learn to let things go instead of sitting with the same part of the design for like an hour just so I can make it perfect. Okay, so I just put some white there on the top of the petal and I'm just gonna blend it down. 
just a bit. I'm going to put some more on it later. Why does it look so heavy here? So now I'm basically just mixing back and forth until I get something that I like. I was wearing press-ons in length that's really long for me and I was struggling so much taking my makeup off without poking my eye out and then I thought if Louise can manage I must be able to. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh that's so good. Oh that's amazing. I love that. Yeah if I can so can you. 100%. 100%. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take the brush that I had before and basically just mix, mix, mix. My phone just said nope. I'm sorry. We're back. Okay, so let's continue with the shading like we did before my phone decided to die. Could it be overheating? Maybe. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, I think I'm happy with that. Let's add some white at the top. We're going to add more white later. But this is just to add some definition. That's too much white. Jesus. Jesus. There we go. Okay, I need to blend this because it's annoying me. It's a bit too light. For the dark orange, it's a bit too light. So I'm just going to fix that. What was I? Oh yeah, I was asking you guys if you have any fun weekend plans. If you're going to do something fun. Tell me. I have nail clients tomorrow and on Sunday, but then I'm not really doing anything. I don't have that much time off, so it doesn't really feel like a weekend. And do not do what I do. I'm just saying, do not wipe gel or gel polish on your hands. It could cause allergies. Do as I say, not as I do. I always do it and I always tell you guys not to do it. It's just because I'm stupid. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna add some darker shading to the light petals. And it's basically the same, just add the darker orange at the base and then just blend it a bit upwards. Okay, so now I'm taking some pigmented white gel and I'm just putting it in the top and then just basically just drawing a few lines downwards 
like that. It's the heat, the internet is like, nope, not today. Yeah, I feel like both the internet and my phone is like, nope, not today. Ugh, I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for sticking with me, even though things are not going according to plan. How did I get gel paint on my index finger? Something like this. And I haven't cured anything yet. I wouldn't recommend doing as I do. I would recommend cure in between. Just so you don't miss any of your gorgeous designs. I'm just being stupid and not curing. Okay. There we go. And since this is going to be two petals on this one, on the, the two here, I'm just going to do the white and then just... Um, hang on, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it in two sections, basically, just so I, like, fake them looking like two flowers. Or, sorry, two petals. Two flowers. So, as you can see, I did one bow. I'm just gonna fix the top line here. There we go. Like that. And then we're gonna do another one. Something on my table is shaking and I can hear it, but I don't know what it is and it's really annoying. I can hear the shaking. Hopefully you cannot. And then just drag the white down. Why did I put so much white up there? Hey Nutties! Okay, as usual we have a fix for this kind of situation. I just put a little bit of an edge there on the white and I don't want it. So I'm gonna take a silicone tool and just push it back. Much better. That's how I fix the lines on everything I do <laughs> because I always mess something up. So it is very nice to have the silicone tool. Okay, this is what we have so far. Actually, I'm going to take some, even though we don't have the top of the petal here, I'm just going to take some white and just do some lines anyway, just so it's right on the edge there. Yeah. We cure that for the first time in forever. <laughs> Sorry guys about the uh, video ending, the live ending. Sorry. Oh, life is just not with me today, I feel like. So what are you guys doing? Are you eating? Drinking some wine, maybe? 
I mean, it's Friday, so I'm hoping wine. There we go. Okay, so let's do the edges and then we're gonna be done. So you just basically follow the, pick up some black maybe would be good on my brush. You just basically follow the lines of the petals and you just, you don't really have to do thick lines and they don't have to be pigmented really. You just make them a bit sketchy almost if you, if you get what I'm saying. So really thin and they don't have to be exactly on the petal either. Just had dinner. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I need to eat something. I haven't eaten anything since lunch today, so it's probably time. There we go. Something like that. And since this leaf or petal is like in the bottom, I'm just doing the edges of it. I don't go all the way down. Hey, Nicole. Nicole, don't look at my hand. Yes, I wipe off the color of my hand on my hands. Don't kill me. I wipe the brush. I know you hate that. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, so we're just gonna continue doing really thin lines on the petals. Sorry for my thumb. I can like see it in the corner of my eye when I have my fun, uh, thumb in front of the camera. Okay, so here we have the double leaf. I'm gonna do this leaf right next to it first. So I can just get the edges to see where it is or where I want the double leaf to be. And then I'm going to draw just a really clean line, just in the middle. And then just connect on the top. Something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. And then I'm just dragging the lines to the bottom. And as you can see, I just drew a tiny bit of black right here doesn't really matter because we're gonna do some lines in the petals in black some middle lines and then some really thin sketchy lines around so if you mess up somewhere, that's totally fine. Totally fine. Because as you can see, I'm kind of messing them up on purpose because they're supposed to 
look a little sketchy. Because that's how flowers look like, according to me. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But this is what I do. Looking good, tight knot these. Something like this. Maybe one more right there. There. And then one there. And then we can't forget about this one here in the corner. Like that! I'm gonna do this one a bit thicker so you actually can see it. There we go. So this is what we have. And now, just to make it a bit more realistic, I'm gonna do some tiny lines from the center. Just drag. The color out a bit just so we get like the spikes of the sunflower and this isn't supposed to be perfect it's not perfect. Doesn't have to be. Mm, something like this. So I just basically draw some lines out and then we're going to fix it in just a second. Because then I'm going to twist the tip and then just pull everything back into the middle just so we don't have any edges flying around and then if you want to you can add a black line actually just to blend it in a bit more so It just mixes the, the two together a bit since we did the circle first, so it doesn't look too harsh. And it looks like it's actually connecting, instead of just being black blobs. Like that. And then this time, I'm gonna do a five second cure. Because it doesn't really need that much. And then we're gonna add some final touches of white and then we're gonna fully cure and then we're done. Oh, that's a bit too much white. Whoop. Okay, so I'm just going to do some white right next to the black lines. Just to diffuse them a bit so they're not that harsh. And I basically don't have any color on my brush here. I'm just dragging it through. Oh, someone is laughing outside. That was so loud. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's fully cure that. And then we're going to add some matte top coat on. And then we're done. We're 
where did I put the... Oh, I couldn't find the wipes. I put them right next to me. They were way too close. Okay. I always hate doing the 60 seconds in the in the light because it takes too long. It takes way too long. I hate waiting. I usually do 40, but with gel paints, I always do 60 and sometimes double cure just in case so it doesn't move anywhere because it can be really uh, difficult to cure. If you do thick layers, I haven't done any thick layers on this design, but it can be quite difficult to cure sometimes. And some matte top coat on this. And then into the light we go. If I can find the button. Okay, so that's it with this design. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to show you the fully cured, of course. Let's put these in the middle. And as you can see with this one, I actually did with some moon dust because I think it kind of looks like water drops. So if you haven't bought this yet, you really should. Because it's so fun to play around with and it looks so amazing for basically any design. So, and it's a nice addition like to the sunflower just to add a bit of a twist it looks really really cool okay so there you have it really simple just a sketchy sunflower you can do it however you like in whatever form you like so yeah that's it for today like i said there won't be a live on monday because i'm working late which is why the live was today instead so i hope you enjoyed it and i'm so so sorry for the internet and the overheating of the phone but i hope you enjoyed it anyway and if you have any questions just Send me a DM on at Nails by Beckman and I'll answer you as quick as I can. So thank you so, so much for today. And yeah, if you try out uh, this design, um, tag me and tag Moonflare. We love to see when you do uh, stuff. So please tag. And yeah, I'll see you here very soon. Have a nice evening, everyone. Bye.